Welcome to STEM Club, where we're still learning about Antarctica. And in this week's video, we're going to learn all about how Antarctic animals keep warm. So let's have a look at some of these Antarctic animals and see if you can spot any similar features of them. One thing a penguin has is feathers. And the way we're going to show how feathers help keep a penguin warm is by using a covering on the feathers. So I've got a wax crayon here and I've got a grey one but you might like to use a white one and I've printed off a sheet from Twinkle and all I'm going to do is colour in my penguin all over its tummy with my wax crayon. And so let's do that and then we can see how that helps keep our penguin waterproof and warm and dry. Here's our penguin all coloured in, so you can do exactly the same at home. And then we're going to see how waterproof it is by spraying some water on and seeing if we've made our penguin any more waterproof. So here's my coloured water spray. And we're just going to give our penguin a spray. You might want to put it on the wall and see what happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> You can see all the water, this is really cool, is just running off our penguin. Our penguin is not wet at all, it's just making my table wet as all the water runs off. And this is exactly how penguins' feathers work that helps keep them warm and dry in Antarctica. Because we're scientists, we always want to do an investigation where we change something to see what might happen. So in this investigation, can you think of anything you could change? So we could try changing what we put on the penguin's tummy and seeing if it makes it more or less waterproof. One thing we haven't done is a control. So this is a penguin without any wax on its tummy. So this is one printed straight off the printer. And let's spray that one and see if there's any difference. Oh, this is interesting. So. You can see here, there's just a big wet patch. <laughs> so none of the water droplets are running off this time. The penguins just got really wet. And if that's happening in Antarctica, our penguins gonna get wet and cold. Another thing we could try rather than a wax crown is some oil. So this time I'm going to put some oil on our penguin. So I've just got some kitchen oil here and I'm gonna paint it all over my penguin's tummy. And we're gonna see if that has the same effect. Penguins painted, so I do, you can be able to see his shiny tummy here, all coated with oil, so let's give that a go and see if that also works as a water repellent. Oh yes, oh look. <laughs> so all the water droplets are just running off the penguin, dripping down, you might be able to see all the drops. So this has worked really well as well. So something like wax or oil works really well at protecting our penguin and keeping him warm and dry. In this experiment, we could change what we're putting on the penguin or we could change what we're spraying to see how waterproof it is. So we've tried a piece of paper and that's not very waterproof. But what about if we tried spraying a feather? So this isn't a penguin feather, it's a pigeon feather I found outside. So let's give that a spray and see if you can see the same waterproof effect. Oh wow, all of the water has just formed droplets ready to roll off the feather. This feather has got a similar oily or waxy coating that's keeping it waterproof and so our bird remains warm and dry. And this works exactly the same with a penguin feather. This is a wonderful experiment for you to try at home, so why don't you give it a go too? We thought about how feathers can keep penguins waterproof so they stay warm. But if we have a look at our Antarctic animals again, can you see any other features which keep them warm? Another area you might have noticed is the fact they can be quite large animals because they've got layers of fat on them. And this is a really easy science experiment for you to try at home so you can see how fat can keep you warm. All you need is some ice and some lard or some fat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put on some rubber gloves because I really don't want to get my hands too messy. So you can start by just holding some ice in your hands and you can feel how cold that is. Oh, that's rather chilly. So I'm going to put it back in the bowl. Then what you need to do is just like a polar bear or a seal or even a penguin 
in the Arctic and Antarctic, I'm going to cover my hands in lots of lardy fat. There we go, I'm just going to cover my hands with it. So these are what animals have lots and lots of layers of fat on them to help them stay warm. And this is really fun because you can actually try this out at home. So let's have a go. So once your hands are all covered and your gloves are all covered, you can then try holding an ice cube and seeing if you can still feel how cold it is. I can't even feel the cold on that. That is amazing. I, it doesn't even feel cold. I can't. Yep, yeah, that is amazing. I could hold that all day. No wonder Arctic animals are so warm. You can try this instead with feathers. So just putting some feathers in a plastic bag and then putting that on your hand instead. Then put the ice on top and you can see how warm it is just by having some ice on top. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Antarctic STEM Club, learning all about how animals stay warm in these freezing cold environments. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to look at our other STEM videos and do let us know how you get on with our STEM experiments by following the link below to share in our Facebook group. We look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun. Wow, that is amazing. I could just hold that all day.